Alright, what's up y'all? It's your girl out of mine, the one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. <laughs> um, so I am doing the August monthly messages on live today, but I came on to share a collective message that I have been being urged to share but specifically today um it is a sunday it is the um ending and beginning of a new weekly cycle um and uh, beginnings and endings have been a constant and steady theme in my life this year it's my eighth house perfection year so a lot of death transformation rebirth um changes and change can be very uncomfortable changing ourselves can be very uncomfortable dealing with the fact that things may be over and we are having to start something new something is requiring us to incorporate some form of restoration in our lives sometimes that can be challenging you know sometimes it's just more comfortable to stay in the same space in the same environments in the same um mindset mind frame in the same uh friend groups in the same in the same in the same it can be so much more comfortable to stay the same however there are those of us that are feeling like the time has come for something different. The time has come for something new. Whether you are feeling like where you are in life has reached a dull moment. Or if you are calling out for some sort of refresher. There was one day this week at work where I walked into the environment and every single person of well every single one of my co-workers were having a discussion uh, on how they are so ready to do more right how this temporary stepping stone is only for supplemental income you know how their dreams and aspirations that they have they are ready to go out and work on those dreams but i ask you if you are in that state right if you are ready for change if you are ready for restoration if you are ready for something new how ready are you to get out of your own way how ready are you to stop playing with your time, your space, your energy? How ready are you to begin putting those steps forward towards reaching whatever goal it is that you have? Right? I feel like life is really urging us to open our arms to receive a lot more to being in a space and state of being able to receive and not only being able to receive but being able to push ourselves to new heights right again change can be uncomfortable there is discomfort and unfamiliarity, okay? There is often discomfort and unfamiliarity. But you know what there is also discomfort in? Stagnancy, especially when you're ready to move. 
right? We can talk, talk, talk all day about what we want to do and what we're planning on doing and, 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 you know, what the world can expect from us. However, if we're just steadily talking, 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 and we don't really trust in that discomfort of unfamiliarity, if we don't trust that everything that we've been through up until this point supports us in these states moving forward, supports us in our goals, supports us in achieving these goals. You understand? Excuse me. If we don't trust in cutting those cords of doubt, we will remain in the same spaces that we have been in. We will remain in the same forms of bondage that we have been in. And it may not look like it looked the last time you felt stagnant in something, right? But it's still a cycle. It's still a loop. And so until we learn how to jump off the porch in a sense, you know, step off the ledge in a sense, trust in spirit, trust in our higher selves, trust in ourselves that we have the ability to do whatever it is that we are wanting to do, that we are desiring to do. Until we get to that point, we are going to remain the same. And it, again, it may not show up in the same way as it may have, you know, in your recent past or your past past, whatever. It may show up in a completely different way, but you are having to learn the same lesson. Advocate for yourself. Advocate for what it is that you want because nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else is going to come and say, okay, I see that your hands are clink, clink, clink. I see that you're having some trouble in moving forward. So let me unlock these handcuffs for you. Let me unleash the chains from around you. Let me cut the cords of doubt for you. They can't do it. They can't do it. We can go get spell work done. We can go get readings on how to move forward and how to release and how to do this and how to do that. But if we don't want to do it for ourselves, if we are not willing and ready to do it for ourselves, it's not going to get done. Okay. And again, it goes back to like thinking about doing these things, but not actually doing it. A message that I received this rising was overthinking can spoil the magic. Overthinking can quite literally distort the way that spirit has intended for your journey and your path to go. Say you ask for something. Spirit, I want to do X, Y, and Z, right? And spirit kind of gives you the blueprint and really doesn't even, may not even give you the blueprint, but spirit says, okay, I just need you to be open to receiving. I just need you to cut those cords of doubt. I just need you to jump off the ledge. I need you to go ahead and make that first step. I'm going to give you the first step. So I just need you to make it. And instead of, you know, freely uh, going towards it. We're thinking, we're overthinking. Okay, well, I, f I need to do this first and maybe I should do this and, um, you know, I can do it this way. Trying to put our own twist on the shit when it, it could all be so simple. Sorry. <laughs> it could all be so simple, baby, baby. But you rather make it hard, okay? You rather make it more difficult on yourself. Um, it's not until we start to live more trustingly that it becomes obvious that we've been hiding ourselves from life. 
So it's very important that we trust spirit. It's very important that we trust ourselves. It's very important that we free ourselves. It's very important that we take those steps. You know, if you need encouragement, if you need guidance um, to help, you know, cultivate and nourish the skills, the gifts that you naturally have that you are wanting to share with others. Ask for that assistance and and know that you already have that within you. That which you seek is already in you. You just have to trust that it's there. Okay. Say, you know, you want to open up a baking business but you're so worried about your resources how you're gonna pay for the food costs how you're gonna get your you know brand out there uh how you're gonna come up with a a, a unique and an interesting menu and concept you know yes it's important to think about these things it's important to think about these things but it's also very important to know that some things are going to just come effortlessly, divinely, because we have decided and chosen to walk in our purpose. Go buy you that flour. Go buy you that sugar. Go buy, you know, whatever you need to bake that first cake. Make the cake. Make sure it's good. Do a little taste test with your family and stuff. Right? Make sure it's good. Then you go make another one and you sell that cake for three dollars to five dollars a slice boom you're in business and you just keep going from there you just keep going from there you know there's a saying um that i hear so often how do i know when to start just start just start if you are feeling that it is time to move that is literally your confirmation from spirit that they want to breathe life into what ideas creative ideas that you have you just have to believe in yourself or at the very least if you aren't at the point of quite you know if you're not quite at the point of being able to fully trust and believe in yourself ask for that ask to be surrounded by people that instill courage into you that instill trust into you that that um are examples of that themselves you know ask for um excuse me ask for inspiration for for your creative ideas ask to be blessed with the opportunity to be able to sit in stillness to figure it the fuck out say you work seven days a week and you never even really have time to focus on your creative ideas ask for a divine and perfect opportunity for you to be able to do so that is for the good of all and harm to none that means you ain't missing out on money that you would have made that day that you called out that means that you aren't missing out on you know family time that means that you aren't missing out on taking care of your kids so on and so forth taking care of yourself and you never know you could win you know money on a scratch off and not have to go to work you could you know i don't know the possibilities are endless as long as you trust and know that as long as you are open to receiving what it is that you are asking for um be mindful that you know things do take time i feel that i know that the generation that we're in the world that we're in the matrix that we're in uh instant gratification is <laughs> it's a pandemic and i speak for myself when it comes to what I want done, I want it and I want it now. 
and I am having to learn that patience is truly a virtue. At this, because in the same instance, my whole life I've always said, I'm the most patient person I know. I'm so patient. I love how patient I am. I'm patient, I'm patient, I'm patient. But really, I'm very much impatient when it comes to a lot of things. Rushing, you know, wanting things to be done right, right here and now. Wanting to have what I see for myself in this very instant and moment knowing good and goddamn well i'm a master manifester so it's coming anyway but spirit again like i always tell you all it just has to align i just have to align with that so as soon as i align with that it's mine instantly so in order to come into alignment with that i must transform i must trust myself i must cut the cords of doubt that are surrounding me and within me i must move forward i must remember to breathe and be present and self-aware so that i'm not missing these cues that spirit is sending me these messages that spirit is sending me so from me to you, from you to I as well, because this message is for the both of us. We must free ourselves from our own bondage. You can have, you can do, you can be whatever it is that you want, that you desire. From the smallest thing to the biggest, you know, and that's subjective. But literally whatever you want, need, desire, it can be yours. As long as you are open to it and trusting that you deserve to receive it. So this is just a quick collective message that I wanted to share. Um, the cards that came out for this particular reading um, that inspired this reading is befriend the word polarize. Okay. You can get with this and you can get with that. Anyway, cut the course of doubt. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting spirit. Stop doubting that what you want, need, and desire is actually available to you because it is. And overthinking can spoil the magic. When we're thinking, 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 trying to control every single aspect of whatever this is we literally leave universe the universe spirit god your higher self source however you resonate with the energy of creation okay whenever we are trying to do things ourselves we don't give spirit room to do anything for us because we are trying to make it happen. We are being disobedient. And lean not on your own understanding. I wrote that song last year. And um, I don't know. I sing it whenever I am trying to force my own shit. So lean not on your own understanding how did the rest of it go um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i will no longer lean not on my own understanding so that's just some of it but took y'all to church today happy sunday <laughs> free yourself from your own bondage okay however you have to do so that's why i got my my grill in i know i'm from florida so this this is just locked up grilled up you know what i'm saying it's just me but um 
yeah, I am freeing myself from my own bondage. Like, not really caring about how I'm perceived or, you know, who does like it, who doesn't like it. Child, my mom will see my grill. I remember I used to wear it all the time because I have the top and the bottom. And my mom used to call me a crackhead and all types of shit, but it's a part of me. <laughs> it's a part of me. And, um... I can't care about what anybody thinks or has to say about how I choose to express my true authenticity, right? I have to cut those cords of doubt. I have to stop overthinking it. I have to befriend the word polarized. I can be, I can be, I can, I am multifaceted, okay? Another card that came out for this is um, Cartouche, Divine Names, Divine Names of Power. Yes, Divine Names of Power. So that card in particular speaks to, you know, mo being multifaceted. You are more than just your name right? If you can meditate on it, I bet you have other names to be called. Spiritual names, you know, names that the ancestors have, have blessed you with, have granted you with. Um, Pachamama, like, we are not just this one-dimensional body, energy. We are so much more than that. And so, you can be whatever, whoever, live wherever, go wherever that you decide, that you desire. So I'm going to leave it short, okay? Don't forget to let your light shine no matter who it blasts, period. I'll see y'all later.